we started Subwa, um, let's say we started to think about Subwa when we did the first vintage of uh, Clos saint in, in 1995. Um, that was really uh, to, as a clos, you know, it's just a one hectare vine that we have in marais sur uh, of Pinot Noir. So it's a, it's a one grape varietal, it's a one place, it's a one block. Um, that vine was producing basically uh, some vintage red wine as well. And in 1995, with my brother, we decided to, to produce a single clos. Uh, uh, to because we wanted to do something different and, and the idea said well okay if you really want to do something different we have to do the entire vinification in barrel mm -hmm. so uh, right away we went down in Burgundy to pick up some barrels from some friends and then uh, and then uh, we started the barrel to ferment in, in barrels with around 20 barrels uh, that was in 1995, and to make it short, now we have around 450 barrels. Wow. So, okay. Yes. So, and that's how we thought about Soubois. Uh, Soubois is, is a result of a long time, long process of research with Denis Blé, our uh, buying director. To, uh, to, to, to structure the cuvee uh, correctly with, uh, with Pinot Meunier, with Pinot Noir, with Chardonnay. It's very simple, it's one third of each. Mm. So uh, you have to give a chance. And the wine we are going to taste now, uh, this Brut Soubois, is based on 2011. Harvest. Oh, yeah, so yeah, eight years at least on lease. Yeah, with wow. reserve of 2010. Yeah. So it's important to save the acidity. And the, one of the best ways to save the acidity is uh, to, uh, to block monolactic because it helps to, to uh, keep the freshness. And doing uh, acting on fermentation in barrels, then you, you, you give a bit more of complexity, a bit more of structure to get that a bit toasty. Aspect. We don't want any tannin. So we're not fermenting in new barrels. Huh? Mm. Uh, so yeah. I was going to ask because often it seems like um, when producers age in barrel, there are two uh, different intentions. The first one seems to be to add that oak influence, so to give um, the, those toast or vanilla or um, tobacco aromas to the wine, and the other one is micro -oxy oxygenation. Um, right. So how, how do you, which of the two do you think you, this one fits into? First option. First option, yeah, yeah, makes sense. First option because, uh, you know, oxidation is, is, a, is, is a bit too risky for us mm. in terms of longevity in a way. So you don't want to, you don't want to develop that. You know, you don't want to develop, a, a, we may have a lot of reduction, what we call at the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, but it's not a problem because that re that reduction aspect will disappear in 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 the, in, the, in the time time of the vinification and the aging as well. Mm -hmm. When you let at least for uh, uh, seven eight years on lease in bottle in the cellar prior to be disgorged, uh, then you let the wine to to structure itself. That's mm -hmm. the most important thing. You know, at one stage, you have to let the wine to get its own structure. What we do, we design it as a blend uh, when we, prior to be bottled. But once, it, once it's bottled, it's bottled, you know, you just can get back to the bottle and say, oh, let's do a bit, of, add a bit of, you know, this and that. And, 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 and close the bottle again, put it back and say, no, when it's bottled, it's bottled. So you have to let, give enough time to the wine. To, to age, to structure itself in, in terms of aging. And that's very important. You know? That's mm -hmm. very important. Champagne, as it's based on the acidity, even I'm talking about the Brut Reserve, you know, at Bilka, we have a goal, is to get at least back to, to 40 months aging in, in, in the cellar prior to be disgorged. For a non-vintage, just for the regular Brut, mm -hmm. most of the Brut now are sitting on 20 months, basically, mm -hmm. you know that 
officially the rules say that it's official you have to legally wait for 18 months prior to be disgorged okay before it was 15. i saw that they were going to double this oh no it's really slow uh, yeah. wine in champagne needs with the acidity to settle a lot in terms of aging mm. And if you don't, that's why you have some, some on some wines a high dosage to mask and to hide sort of aggressivity. And you don't want this. At Bilka, we, we want, just want to protect the fruit. So what do you do with, uh, with adding sugar? You just, uh, uh, you're working on makeup. Hmm. You know, that's it. Uh, uh, and there is no way for us to hide the aggressivity. If the wine is not ready, we want, we still wait. That's why we, for example, in Blanc de Blanc, the Blanc de Blanc on vintage, uh, very often it's out of, out of stock because we hold, we want to hold it back in the cellar to make sure that the aging is correct. Mm -hmm. And if it goes, if it doesn't go through the tasting committee and if the tasting committee doesn't agree, even if the marketing and the, all the people go, ah, we need Blanc de Blanc, we need Blanc de Blanc, and we just say, no, sorry, it's not ready. No, it's not we ready. Have to wait another, if we have to wait another year, we will wait another year. It's mm -hmm. not a problem.